point you got the Boston trucker with you. I want to do a little tutorial on the Mac Pinnacle. Let you know what I think about it from a driver's perspective. So this is our 2019 Mac Pinnacle. As you can see, it's a beautiful truck. My boss has spared no expense having this thing dialed in. The monster drop visor, the chrome surround around the grill, the Mac lights, four round air horns to try and give it that old school look, chrome post on the windshield, the nice big thick air tanks, chrome grill surround, we got nice lettering, pinstriping, full fenders, we got two stacks, nice light bar, we ordered it without anything in the middle here to give it that extra, uh, extra you know, look to make it look a little longer. It's got that gap though, you know? We like it. It's a beautiful truck. And most drivers, I think, would really enjoy driving this truck. Now, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on driving the truck. And uh, hopefully I won't make anybody cry or hurt anybody's feelings. So as you step into the truck, it's got a nice entry weight into the truck. The doors are really solid. Listen to this. Like they close nice and solid. Open the door. Lots of storage. Tons of storage in this truck. Now, pardon the mess. It has been muddy and raining and snowing. And I know that's no excuse. Let me show you some things about the interior. First of all, that door closes so nice and tight. No air noise is coming through the door. It's beautiful. One of the things I do not like are these big hulking mirrors. Um, when you're coming out of a side street, they are really just huge. You gotta move your head around. You gotta kind of bob and weave to get to see around them. Uh, the big glass is nice. It's got a, a power mirror, both sides. But the small mirror on the bottom, the small convex mirror, is not as good as a round mirror that you would have on most trucks. Um, it doesn't go out as wide. You can't see out as wide. Um, on the door panel, we have storage, power windows, door locks, heated mirrors right here. On the left side here, we got the backup lights, which I believe are on a timer. They do not stay on. Four ways, headlights, fog lights, all that stuff. You got a nice steering wheel. It's got cruise control, Bluetooth for your phone. This is uh, to check on the status, the status of the truck, see what it's doing. Um, I haven't used any of this stuff yet. The steering wheel's square on the bottom, which I did not like at first, but now after driving it, I'm enjoying it. It also has a really good tilt and telescope steering wheel, which really moves to any way you need it to be. The gauges are nice and clear. They're, you can see everything. Nothing's blocking your view. It's got nice storage up above. The three compartments, this one's for the radio. There is a radio in there actually. It is not working for some reason. For some reason this radio came, this truck came with a coaxial cable not attached and the power, having power issues with the radio. The dashboard, everything's within finger reach. A storage compartment here. The stereo will blow you out the door. It's a beautiful stereo, works really great. It's got the nice, the two big sun visors, which I don't need since I have the monster visor on. It's got a good air horn. It's got nice lighting switches up here. Makes it like daylight in the dark. It's got good heating control. It's got a lot of power sources, which I really enjoy. I got one here. I got one up here. Got this, uh, I don't know what you put up there. I don't put things on my dashboard. Got good vents down there. 
The cab is super wide. Let me show you. Super wide. The nice interior. The seats are just beautiful. This seat, I think, is came defected though because I can't get the lumbar out of this area of the seat. And I get all the buttons depressed. And I get a, I actually got this back pad sitting here to kind of, I got a sore lower back. But it's got all these switches and buttons. But yeah, it's not really doing me any good. I'll tell you another thing I noticed. Um, the controls on the dashboard you can read them really well. I don't like, let's say you put your PTO on, like this. That tells you your PTO's on. There's no warning on the dashboard for that, for those rookies who forget to shut their PTO off. Same with if you put your airbags in. I mean, you could go down the road and not really notice them. Now when a truck shifts, this is called the M drive, a 12 speed M drive. Now the salesman's gonna tell you, well, it's not an automatic, but listen, there's no clutch. It's an automatic, all right? I don't wanna hear about that. So the 12 speed's got two modes. It's got the regular mode where it shifts. It shifts at very low RPMs. I mean, upshift at about 1300 to 1450 upshifting. Downshift's really low, like 1100 RPM. You feel like you're lugging the motor, but that's what it does. I mean, you feel like you want to split a gear half the time, if you could. You put it in performance mode, and also, look how it lights up purple, but you can barely notice that in the daytime. I think they need to put these into orange lights or put something on the dashboard. Put it in performance mode, the truck jumps into life. It shifts with higher RPMs, much power, much more power. Um, it's really the way to go, like if you're starting out on a hill or um, you just need, a, need a, a high speed takeoff, it's really the way to go. Um, you do burn a lot more fuel with the performance mode. What else can I tell you here? It's got great storage underneath this seat, that door pocket. It's very quiet in here. I don't know why I'm yelling. Um, Got the hood mirrors. Kind of a little bit of a blind spot over here. I mean, it's a truck. The dashboard reminds me of the old Freightliners, the way it comes out. The legroom's great on the left side. The right side, I don't know why they design trucks with something like, where you can't swing your leg out like the old Peterbilts. I mean, truck drivers drive a lot of miles. It'd be nice if you could stretch out a little. On the right side column, we get the engine brake. So you got low, high, and it displays high right there, the H. And another thing, cool thing is, when you're in the regular shift mode, if you need to downshift fast, and you start slowing the truck, you, you bump this down twice, and it'll drop a gear and give you a much higher RPM to help you slow down. And it'll just continuous, continuously do that as you're slowing down. Another nice item on the floor is the foot pedal. When you're depressing the pedal all the way to the floor, and you're climbing a hill, and you're lugging, you know, you're not getting all the power you need, you push the foot pedal even further down and it gives it some oomph, kind of like in the performance mode. So those are my opinions on the interior. I mean, I'm an old school trucker. I prefer a shift. Um, it's a very nice truck. I could see a lot of drivers would be happy driving this truck and anybody who gets to drive this truck, I think it's a lucky guy. Um, it's not really my cup of tea. I don't think I'd want to drive it every day. I, I know I wouldn't want to drive it every day. I mean, it's, it's just too comfortable and too quiet for me. I need a truck that's got some, uh, that sounds like a truck. Um, but otherwise, it's, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with this thing. I mean, I can't get over how quiet, quiet. Look, look, hear the noise outside? Listen. It's just silence. It's beautiful. All right, let me show you how it shifts. Now, we're not really driving. This is a uh, truck simulator mode, okay? So I have it in the regular drive mode. Now look at the RPMs. Low RPMs, we're 100,000 pounds, pulling a slight grade. Doesn't really have much jump. It kind of dogs it a little. 
kind of like a 350 Mac in a 12 speed, which you can't really beat. And you put it in the performance mode, watch the RPMs now. Like I said, we're pulling a grade here too. Much higher RPMs. Now we're talking. It's more like a Cat 475 6 and Z. A lot of power that way. So the performance mode is fantastic. But you're going to lose on the fuel mileage. But it's great for pulling grades. And uh, getting a quick start getting on the highway. That's the way to go. Now if I put it back into drive mode. Shifts real low. And it dogs the RPM. It'll get down to 1100 before it'll downshift. last night. It had rain, it had snow, salty roads. I should show you the engine to complete this video, right? The hood is so light. was clean. Normally our trucks are always clean. It's been a savage day. It's been in the mud. Mud, mud, mud. Snow, salt. I don't even know about this. I gotta put some, some of that in there today. That deaf stuff. Somebody's gonna show me how to do that. I don't know. I never had to deal with that before. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll be back in my truck very soon. Probably by next week. Maybe I'll give you a tutorial on that truck. Alright? Boston Trucker out.